Hi, this is James Garden, the Sydney Tech Geek, and I'm at NAB 2016 and the Blackmagic stand. And as you know, I've been doing everything in HDR. And as we heard this year, Resolve 12.5 has been released at NAB, a prototype or a pre release. But a lot of the new features in Resolve are about high dynamic range. I've been seeing this over the many releases recently, but again, it's getting more and more refined. Yep. And I've got Paul here from Blackmagic to take us through some of the new features and some of the um, knowledge that was, you know, Blackmagic is bringing to the, to the market when it comes to high dynamic range. So Paul, Resolve's got you know, a plethora of new features, right. but let's focus on what, what's the high dynamic range stuff that's coming through. Okay, great. So in Resolve 12.5, we now give you the ability to turn HDR on for any single node that you want. So in this case, I've got HDR on this node. And what the HDR controls do on the node is it basically allows all my wheels and all my sliders, whether I'm using a panel or the user interface, to operate in that extended dynamic range. Because, you know, assume that previous to this you were working in 0 to 100, and now you're working 0 to 1,000. Nib, right. say right? right so you know you want to move the ball a little bit and be able to have it feel the same as it did when you were grading stuff that was not high dynamic oh, range okay. so, so oh, it, it's it's really about how the controls feel and respond in the application and on the panel that, that makes I, I didn't get it until you just explained it right now so because when we switch to high dynamic range the balls work at, at a certain um, Granularity Correct. and standard def in high dynamic range because it's got so much more range. The granular granularity of the ball and the movement needs to be modified to match how we use it in standard dynamic range. Exactly, exactly. So the other thing that changes too are the scopes. So the scopes can now show you the full range um, for you know so that when you're grading you can accurately uh, monitor your your signal. So you get the controls, you get the um, the new uh, waveform and monitors um, that are all HDR. And then you've got preferences now where you can set your, your gamma separate from your color space. So you can be in P3 with D65, or you can set your output to, uh, you know, depending on what kind of uh, HDR grading you're doing, you can set how many nits you're outputting to, so 2,000, 4,000, 1,000, really? okay. whatever. So all that's in there. Um, we now support HL, uh, HLG, yep. HDR10, Dolby right. Vision. So okay. pretty much all of the big HDR standards that are out there um, resolve supports. And because we've always been 32-bit float behind the scenes, we already work in a massive color space and a massive dynamic range. So actually applying the tools to these new formats um, has been uh, has been really a natural evolution for us because now we can just expose more of what the internal engine can already process for the images. Well, that's fantastic. And, and like I said, like if you're interested in high dynamic range at all, I'm sure that even the, um, the entry-level version has a lot of the stuff so you can play with it. Yep. And, and learn about it. So big, my big push this year is learning about how to use high dynamic range. So this is a great starting point if, if you're just even looking at it. Now, just on top of Resolve, I want to push it into the other features. For example, your editorial feature set has been expanded again greatly. And I've even heard traction and just listening on the fall, floor of some people who are, are on other editorial platforms <laughs> looking at putting in some of these uh, due to the, the tight workflow between the finishing and the editorial and that is a big plus for those people so uh, quite a lot of traction there so congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, and um, yeah it's just going very well for Resolve we could only really say. Um, is there anything else you want to mention to the to the audience that they should really know about these new releases? Yeah so um with respect to HDR, and then I'll jump back to editing and stuff, um, we have also have a new release of our DeckLink 4K Extreme 12G driver right. and our Ultra Studio driver. So now we can actually do HDR grading over HDMI. So if you get a consumer Ultra HD Premium set, wow, okay. we can now actually do the HDR output and use that as a preview monitor. So um, the HDR stuff is really becoming ubiquitous. And that now. really, because I've actually doing some coverage of and like talking to the LGs and the Samsungs of the world of exactly doing what you're talking about. And so I've got some other videos, catch them, uh, regarding using those monitors for um, you know, initial um, grading monitors for high dynamic range. So it's a very good adjunct videos to catch regarding what Resolve can do today and the feature set they've introduced. Yeah. So fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, that's James Garden with Paul from Blackmagic at the NAB 12, uh, 2016, bye for now.